Welcome everyone. So this one is flatten. In this challenge, you're going to take an array and you're going to emit the flatten type. If you've never seen something like flatten before, don't worry. I'll show you kind of like how it works and how it goes. Uh, we see an example here where we have an array and it has some nesting and we just get out the values from inside. So, um, uh, how, would you, how would you guys go about solving something like this? Where would you, where would you start? Whew. Okay, so... It's scary, yeah. right? It's just jumping in. We have a T, which is a generic type. So mm -hmm. I, I think uh, let's start by uh, making sure it's actually an array. Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, so uh, each item can be an array or a number mm -hmm. or something. Um, so I think there's something recursive we need to do. And uh, if it's not an array, that item of the array, we can just, uh, uh, well, emit the value. Mm -hmm. uh, um, okay, so, so so you think like starting with a, like T, mm -hmm. we're going to check first if it's, so this is the syntax for like if it's an empty array. Mm -hmm. So if it's an empty array, we're going to do that. Otherwise, um, we'll just do that. But then otherwise you said we're going to, we're going to grab yeah, values. Yeah, so let's infer uh -huh. first item. Okay. Yeah, add, and then maybe till, yeah. Uh, we got to get the spread going there. Okay. So if it's the hat is a number, are we going to, uh, is, is it a generic array or? Is yeah, it anything. Always? Yeah, th I think uh, ah. the examples here, you like this one is an object, this ah, one is okay. a string, so it can be anything. Okay, so then. We just need to know if it's an array. If it's not an array, then we just uh, emit that value. Okay. So right. head extends unknown. Same thing like we did in the generics, like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, and then where do we want to? Where would? What would you do next? Yeah. So uh, we're gonna. Um, uh, the value we are returning or the type we are returning is an array. Mm -hmm. So that would then be true would be um, uh, an array with hat. And I think mm -hmm. that we need to um, we need to pass there flatten with tail, right? Uh, okay, in, in, in here? Yeah. Um, tail, perfect. We probably should spread this too because we're is mm -hmm. tail. Yeah, tail has to be an array. Wait, what's going on here? Must be an array type, uh, isn't it? Tail. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be undefined, maybe, or uh, like. A well, we're um, checking head if it extends a mm -hmm. uh, array, but we don't. We don't do that with tail, right? Hmm. What if we did? What if we did this? What if we put flatten around the outside? Oh yeah, that would work, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, because if it's one value, then I think it'll be okay there. And then we know that if okay, so you said this before, but just following up on it, like if head is not an array, then we can just mm -hmm. return it. Uh, like we can return, yeah. Um, I guess it would be head. Head. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, head extends and unknown. Cannot find name. Did I spell it wrong? H. <laughs> no, I didn't spell it wrong. Head. Oh, because it's not it's not accessible at this point. Is it here uh, that yeah. we want to return it? Ah, uh, okay. And then what do we do here? And otherwise. I think we uh, flatten only tail. Uh, yeah, this this is this is for this one. Okay, flatten tail. Mm hmm. Uh, we have the same problem we had before. Well, let, let's see what uh, let's see what it's going to return. This is this is for sorry. The syntax uh, takes a little getting used to. I think always, but this yeah. is the false branch of this guy. So t doesn't extend. This thing, maybe we can return T. I don't know. Let's let's look up here and see what we what we get. So flatten one two three four returns one. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're always returning the first element. 
Um, uh, so T, maybe this is where where we went wrong. So so let's let's go over here and take another look. What if we don't? What if we can skip this step? Like maybe we can do. I liked what you were doing before. Maybe we can do hmm. like a um, flatten. We can like inject it. You know what I mean? Yeah. There. Um, then we yeah. This line goes away. And then if it's if it's just one value, then oops, syntax error. We'll return like we'll return the the actual uh, value itself wrapped. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'll spread it. Why is it giving us this error? Does not satisfy the constraint unknown. Oh, okay. So we can. I think we can take this away. We can take this constraint away. Ah, good. Yeah. We did it. So we took the constraint away because if. T, that's, it's kind of written here, right? If T, We're already checking that here, yeah. Exactly, we're already checking if it extends, if it's an array, you know, uh, by doing this. Otherwise, we're putting the value in uh, literally, and then, yeah, we get it from there. Okay, <laughs> these kinds of, like, recursive things are always really, t yeah. I think, like, you you just play around with it until it eventually works. Um, yeah. For for all the examples, this one is uh, apologies to the viewers if this is uh, going to be a longer one. Oops, type. Uh, I I always go online and look up other examples of how people have done this. Um, this mm -hmm. is another one that I found that that people did. Um, this one is actually pretty close. It it's a little different than what we were starting with, but this is not far away from where you were headed. I think um, mm -hmm. we're flattening in the head and tail, but. There's a really interesting thing this one does, which is that it stores a uh, temporary value in U. Uh, so there's like a accumulator that it builds up. Um, let's see what else I got. I got a few other in my in my back pocket here. Um, this one is similar. You know, it's doing. It's I was I tried to do this at one point I think, but um, yeah. If you look at these long enough, I'm not. We're not going to dwell on them. I think for today. But if you look at them long enough. One. Maybe this one makes more sense because yeah. we already know hat is not an uh, ar array there, and mm -hmm. then we take hat at the uh, beginning. Yes. Otherwise, uh, we flatten the rest. Mm -hmm. yeah, it makes way more sense in my head as well. Yeah. <laughs> this one. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot. Some some of the challenges. It's interesting. Some of the challenges have tons of different alternatives, and some of them it's like literally everyone just does exactly the same thing because there's not that many different ways to do it. Um, this is the last one I found. It's it's pretty interesting. This is uh this is like some amalgamation of the other ones, but it does it in one shot, and it does the it does the the flattening here at this level, which is kind of similar to like putting these two steps from before together. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, so I don't know. I like, I guess this, this one that you guys were talking about, I think it's a, it's a good one too, but yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, that's, that's flattened. Cool. Sure.